Hey guys, today's tutorial has been a long time coming, so I'm going to be showing you how I put in my clip-in extensions. My natural hair is really fine and stringy, so I need all the help I can get. So you can start by sectioning off your hair and putting in your extension, unless you're like me and you have a big disparity between the length of your real hair and the length of the extensions. So I'll show you a trick that I use to help me out so that doesn't happen. I'm just pulling all the hair to one side and throwing it in a quick braid, tying it off with an elastic. And then I'm going to bobby pin it in the back. I'm going to cross it to the opposite side and insert a pin vertically. And then back to the other side and tuck in the end and pin that into place too. So then it won't be a dead giveaway when you have this random chunk of hair sticking out the bottom. Then at the nape of your neck you're going to use your most narrow extension and clip that into place. Then you're going to take another parting about so it's even with your ears and then clip in another narrow extension. Then you're going to take another parting. I always try to keep my partings about one inch or maybe even less than that as I go and then I'm going to use a wider clip in here. This one has four clips. Now moving up about another inch, I'm going to use my widest extension that I have here because this one's going to reach, this is the widest part of your head, so this is going to try to reach around ear to ear. And now once I've got about half of my extensions in, I'm going to curl them. I'm using a really big curling iron. I think this one's about an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter. And I curl some of them t away from my face and some of them toward my face. I just try to shake it up a little bit. And then I'm not going to brush them out. I'm just going to shake them out and separate them. Now this is the tricky part. This is where it gets tricky to hide the extension, so I try not to go any higher than this. This is kind of, uh, it just it depends on the person, how thick your hair is and everything. And I make sure that you're keeping your extensions about one inch away from your hairline, so they're not showing if you have to tuck your hair behind your ears, etc. Now for me, I have a lot of layers, so in order to blend them out, I'm gonna take the heavy side of my part and add one last extension, just a tiny bit above the last one. Then I'm gonna go through and curl the rest of the extensions that I haven't had a chance to curl yet. And I'm gonna be leaving a little bit out on the ends to give it kind of more of a relaxed vibe. but not least I'm gonna take my one inch hair extensions that I have and I'm gonna put them around my hairline to add some volume and fullness around my face so just kind of where I feel like there might be not enough extension and too much real hair if you catch my drift and I just use the one inchers as totally as needed if your hair is thick enough around your face and you don't need them, then don't use them. I also love using them for braids. But um, then I'm just going to go through and touch up the my real hair and just try to help them blend into the curls that I've done. And that's it. Just that easy. Step, how to put in your extensions for the high ponytail. So I'm going to start by sectioning it off in half about right above or right at my ears and then I'm going to add my narrowest extension again but this time I'm putting the clips right next to each other so then you'll have some bumps in your weft but that's okay, don't worry about it, they won't show. Now moving up an inch or less than, we're going to add in another extension and putting the clips right next to each other again. This is my biggest tip for helping you hide your extensions when you want to wear your hair up. Another tip is I'm only using my narrow extensions. I'm not using the super wide ones because they will not hide at all. So I'm only adding in three wefts. This is my last one and I'm going to add it uh, right at the spot where your head becomes the top of your head. You know that round part that I'm talking about? 
Anywho, that's like right about where I'm going to be putting my ponytail. So then I'm going to let that down and I'm going to section off my bang area and pin that out of the way. And then I'm going to add in my best buddy, the little one, one and a half inches right there to kind of help blend your top layer into your ponytail. I always like to go through and back comb a little bit around the front just to help hide the extensions and add a little bit of volume. Then I'm just going to pull it up in a ponytail. You can do it any height you want. I kind of went with a medium high pony. Now this is where you can see that bunching all of our extensions together paid off because there are none showing. And it's just a big mystery of how you have this big beautiful ponytail. And I always like to pull out a little bit of hair around my face. This is totally optional. Or you can leave it out before you pull your hair in a ponytail. That's also very smart. Then I'm just going to go through and alternate my curls again with my curling iron. I feel like the curlier your ponytail is, the less likely you'll be able to tell that you have extensions in. Now my last tip for helping your ponytail not look like your average everyday sloppy ponytail is grabbing a one inch piece of hair and wrapping it around the base of your ponytail, covering your elastic. And then once I've wrapped it around as many times as I can, I'm gonna take a bobby pin and insert it on the end, and that helps hold it into place. those are all of my secrets for putting in your extensions and you can head to my blog to see a huge post all about extensions all of the questions you guys asked thanks so much for watching